Oh, you got me. You got me right where I don't give a fuck, though. No. But look, I'm just about to speak the science to y'all, bro, because I done really, I done really broke it down, bro. And we talking about accountability here, man. We talking about broke motherfuckers. Why you don't fuck with broke motherfuckers? You see what I'm talking about? Now, whether it's Irv, whether it's Trig, whether it's Man, any one of these weird-ass boosy niggas, they some broke-ass niggas, bruh, living with other people. See, when you do this type of shit, y'all can hold, throw the rock and hide y'all hand. You don't fuck with broke niggas because they always the ones with nothing to lose causing the most trouble and ruckus on shit. You see what I'm saying? Because, no, for real, when you speak on some shit as a man, you got to stand up, stand up for it, nigga. You can't say little shit and then say, that's why I, we ain't doing no talking, nigga. That's why I don't do talking with snakes. Because they get close to snither in your ear like the Garden of Eden did. Nigga, that's how they did Eden. Nigga, don't be a bitch. Don't let these niggas slide up on you and do some talking. Let's see some action out some fuck niggas first. Because they only come talking about niggas that's doing action out here. You see what I'm saying? You can't have time calling and, 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 and wasting time and having that energy about somebody else and working on yourself. You see what I'm saying? But let me get to the point real quick. You can't be truthful and honest about anything. You a snake ass nigga. Because why? You live with a bitch. Every time you go look at, okay, let's where these niggas live. Let's find them accountable and shit. No, Tammy and all that type of shit. Let me tell you about Tammy. This the whole thing about Tammy, man. Tammy went and forged my name, pulled, nigga, pulled my mom's plug. They couldn't even put her in the grave without me. They forged my name on everything. That's the only reason why I was called to come. But let me tell you what happened. They turn around and try to take everything from me. Listen, I don't care. If your mom, your dad died, it's called probate. Probate. You feel me? Period, point blank. It don't matter if they got something or don't got nothing. You are a fucking American if you have a social security number. Tammy stole my social security number, giving it up. But and y'all and y'all playing them games with her. So trust me to prove my case, nigga. I'ma drag everybody and anybody to court. Uh, everybody getting buried about this shit. You see what I'm saying? This is because a nigga got shit. You feel me? I come from a respectable family name that Tammy took and tried to manipulate. Nah, man. When I went to the funeral, nigga, because I'ma be called on to be a Paul Bear and shit, cause then people raise me. Nigga, I get out there and they like, oh man, that's cool to see you, man. Tammy said you was crazy. Bitch, you start talking about me first. Let me clear the air then. I don't think I'm crazy investing in stocks. I don't think I'm crazy having my own. Nigga, you lived off your parents your whole life. That's the sign of a crazy motherfucker. Somebody that gotta be taken care of. Bitch, you on Section 8 and all these old type of programs acting like you a boss. That's the sign of somebody that's fucking crazy. You attacking motherfuckers that did everything mom wanted you to do. And that's what she hated you for. That's the sign of crazy. Motherfucker, you sitting online talking about you got this plaque. You went to a park dressed up and said I graduated. You are not in no credit in college, bro. You are scamming us. And the only people you could get to is your folks. The only people that's, that that you can try to, the same people you hate, I sat at the table with you, and you used to, and I was your little brother, so everybody we know, you was like, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, plus your baby daddy was on some fuck shit, and you was with him on that bullshit, so we already know, but look, all that talking, you went begging motherfuckers for money, for mom's future, and you still gave her the brokest one. You had control of her credit cards. Bro, you failed. But back to probate. If your folks die, you are a sibling. You entitled to half of everything, bro. You see what I'm talking about? Listen, I got a rich uncle, bro. And when my when my, when my folks, when they sold the, the, the shit, the, the, the family tried to say, remember when, uh, remember when mom gave you 20000 for that house? And then she gave you another, nigga, that don't matter what my mama gave me, bitch. Nigga, my mama gave me that, nigga. Because she wanted to, that. you don't bring that back up. That's somebody stepping out of bounds, being a fucking hater. Yeah, nah, that shit don't care. See, you can't have people's personal feelings and shit. Tammy thought because she was the oldest, she could control everything, take the credit cards, go buy her some drip, go buy her kids some drip, go buy her nigga some drip, go do this, go do that, be fresh and shit. That's, bitch, if you would have went and took care of my mom like you was supposed to, bitch, we wasn't tripping. Bitch, drop the ball. That's what you told me you did it, nigga. You told me you did, nigga. You told me. You told me, nigga. It's in the book, nigga. You was sitting there telling everything. Telling, telling, telling. Nigga, and I'm sitting there listening, motherfucker. Listening to your ass talk the whole time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You a cold motherfucker. All I had to do was sit and listen all these years. 
Shit. The only way to get away from motherfuckers like criminals like her is to publicly shame and go on their ass. Accountability, accountability, accountability. These snakes in the grass. It's sad when everybody like, oh man, this happened and I can't say shit. That's not how the world work, bruh. Jesus came in those mosques and, and those and those synagogues knocking over shit. Y'all doing shit wrong. Why move this shit around here, out here, man? Fuck wrong with you, nigga. Let's keep it real. Because if you don't, Solomon Gomorrah, everybody and everybody ass. These niggas got out of prison chasing niggas. Let me point to that real quick. How you get out, nigga? Listen, you see all these bad bitches out here, nigga? Hey, none of these niggas got when they all fucking with the same hood rat bitches that they beat through. Intermittently through the same relationships. Now we laughing and shit. <laughs> oh, we see T.O. with the hood, bitch. You ain't steady. What happened to the best kid and the kid? Ah, oh, nigga, you stupid. You got leftovers. You niggas all around here left leftovers. Y'all can talk amongst each other's talk all dick. Talk all hey, you got a dick. I, hey, but damn nigga, you niggas don't know how to approach a beautiful woman, a woman, a success, a woman that could be your partner, a woman that could be your other half. You niggas is that's some gay shit. You see what I'm talking about? If you got skills to, oh, hey, you come home from prison and try to holler at me. Drugs is a homo to me, man. So when they said he wasn't in that man's ass, I, I believed him. Because nigga, this nigga been contacting me like I was a female with a big ass. Man, I'm trying to holler at you, man. We need to, man, me and you together. Ew! Snake ass, nigga, snake in the grass, and you really plotting the whole time because I'm better than your ass. What's wrong with a motherfucker being better than the next motherfucker? That's why, see, you got to stop letting these motherfuckers tell you you can't be nothing. Humble yourself. That's the devil. Period, point blank. You supposed to, hey, this is what I'm going to do and be held to, to it. Again, you know what that mean? Accountability, motherfucker. You see what I'm saying, man? You got to watch out for these motherfuckers, man. But the whole point I'm trying to point out to you is, man, this shit be right in front of your face. You're going to have the losers, losers, always talking. Is somebody yeah, yeah, hating and destroying everything because they can't have shit. Bro, on Section 8, he can't, he can't check no chicken. He can't sign up for no accounts. He can't do no business because they see him getting that. He's going to check him off for that. I had a bad bitch one time. Humongous ass nigga and the bitch lived in the slums and shit. Motherfuckers knocking out the door at night. The bitch got to get the, hey, man, let me let me take you up out of this. I can't because I'm getting Section 8 for my bad hip because one of them niggas I was fucking with tried to do some tricks and drop me off a motherfucker.